Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. I wanted to come to you today to talk to you a little bit more about weight loss and why it's so important to keep your weight at a manageable level where you're not obese, where you're not having high body fat. It is so important and I've said this a million times and I've said it before on the videos. You don't see too many overweight 90 year olds. And that gives you an idea that obesity and, and the things that come along with, with gaining weight through the years really are a detriment to our health. If you keep your weight down, you'll keep your blood pressure down, you diminish your chances of getting diabetes and other really, really bad degenerative diseases that come right along with it. So you have to have a why. My why is my grandkids. When they started being born, I started thinking, you know what, I want to be around my grandkids or having kids of their own. I want to be healthy enough to, to go out and coach their teams and, and teach them how to play baseball and teach them how to do the things that I enjoy and that I will be able to enjoy with them. If I continued at the high weight, if I continued gaining weight, it wasn't going to happen. And I know that. So you have to have a why. Every one of us has to have a why in their lives, whether it's just to be better for our spouses or, or to be able to live a longer life or to be able to enjoy the life that we have now. There's no guarantees for tomorrow, guys. We could walk across the street and get hit by a bus. It's not going to really matter. Why don't we live each day and every day trying to, to be our best? And one of the things that's important in being our best is keeping our way to the level where we can get around, where our knees don't bother us, our ankles don't bother us, our feet don't bother us. Things that are really, really important in the future. It's so, so easy, guys. Cut down on the sugar. Cut down on the flour and the breads and the pastas and the carbohydrates. That's the big thing. And decrease your portion size. It's tough at first. I'm not going to say it's super easy. We just got off the two weeks after Christmas. I've eaten way more sugar than I've had in the past year. But I'm stopping it today. We went right back on the ketogenic diet today. And there's many diets you can choose, guys. I lost the majority of my weight by just cutting portion sizes. Then I started watching the sugar and the flour and, and the carbohydrates. If you do those few things, it's really easy to start losing weight and manage the weight. So I hope you'll listen to this. I hope you'll all join me in 2018. Let's all get down to where we want to be and we can do it if we hold ourselves accountable and push each other to do the things that we need to do. Self-discipline, guys. Self-discipline. I will talk to you later.